Something a little bit different about my background is I actually worked at a top 15 opera company. So a top 15 in the US. And no, I wasn't a singer there. Although I did do some singing of opera in college. I was in Marriage of Figaro a couple of times. Um, but I actually worked there as a director of finance. It was really cool because I got that opportunity to work in an arts organization. And at one point I thought I was going to go get my master's degree at, as like an MBA in arts management. And I had applied to this UCLA program that only had like 10 spots for the entire country or something. And I didn't get in. Um, but I ended up actually working the job that I would have wanted to work anyway, um, director of finance at an opera company. So I didn't end up having to get that MBA, which is great. I didn't spend money. I didn't spend my time. It worked out really well. Um, but I really, it really enjoyed working at the opera a lot because of the experience of being able to meet the artists, being able to, you know, talk with the donors about how much they love the art and all of that stuff. It was extremely stressful though, because if you've ever been around or worked at an arts organization or even been a volunteer, you know that money is extremely tight in an arts organization. So being the director of finance, all that stress really fell on me, even though it wasn't my job job to raise the money, <laughs> I still felt like it fell on me because I was the one who had to manage the amount of money that we had. And a lot of times we didn't have enough money to, let's say, make sure we pay payroll and the bills at the same time. So especially when I first went to work there, it was very stressful because the company was really in dire straits. They were hiring me and I, I was a very, very new I'd never been a director of finance anywhere. I'd just been like an accounting supervisor. And basically they hired me because I wasn't as expensive as some high, you know, director of finance at that time because they were, they had almost gone bankrupt. They had had someone come in and help them reorganize and make sure that they could continue. But there was a point where they almost had to hold the curtain because they couldn't afford to pay the artist to go on stage. So that was when I came in and it was pretty stressful um, making sure that we had enough money to keep going but then luckily things really turned around we ended up doing really really well we bought a building we had all this stuff going on we had all these fancy parties and i got to experience all of that but then the dot-com crash happened and this was in orange county california so it really hit us hard a lot of those people that you know just didn't have an extra million dollars this year because their stocks went down didn't donate to us and so then we went into another period of a lot of stress and so one thing i learned working at an arts organization is it's very much feast or famine and you can never just assume that if things are going well now they're going to go well later but I did really love the experience of being able to work around artists and work around people that loved music and getting to sit in the front row at all of these premieres of operas and, you know, going to all the fun parties and everything. It was, it was awesome, but it was definitely very stressful. And once I started having my kids, um, it was just too stressful to hold that job and have kids as well as like it was just really taking a toll on my health because of the stress so i ended up um leaving that job hiring someone to take my place and working there part-time actually for another five years while i was a touring musician where i would bring my kids on tour with me while i was home i would work at the opera you know like eight hours a week or something balancing all their bank statements and doing their budgeting and things like that and it ended up working out really well for me until 2009 uh, because of the 2008 crash they couldn't continue they actually did have to, have to close their doors and so it was a great it was a great how many years for me i started working there in in 1999 so it was almost a full 10 years i got to work at the opera and i'm, I'm thankful for the experience i'm thankful for how it opened my eyes to a lot of different um you know uh just things the way people do things on stage and different styles of opera that I didn't even know existed and all the different you know people that have a lot of money and able to support the arts in the world and so I'm had, glad I had that experience but going from that to being an indie musician it was definitely very interesting um, you know being much more scrappy um, on as a musician but I got to use a lot of the skills of being scrappy in the opera, making sure that we had enough money to cover everything as an indie artist. So I'm very thankful for that.